Hey, this is Richard Truelight Pools. Uh, today we're looking at a filter, the the old type uh, Hayward DE filters. And so if that little brass nut strips out, then uh, what do you do? Now this is we're looking at the, the old uh, Hayward filters. Um, you know, this is a... I'm not sure if this one is, you know, the stickers are gone, so I can't verify exactly what, you know, see there's where the stickers were. Can't exactly verify the model number on this one. But this is the, you know, I don't know if this was the early ProGrid or the model before ProGrid filters. But anyway, it has this old, uh, you know, the, the fine thread. This is sort of like Pentair ones. They, uh, Hayward used to have the fine thread, uh, like the brass nut thing with the spring and everything and then you get to a point these things strip out and so what what do you what do you do uh, uh but my distributor doesn't have any that have those brass ones or the, another band or anything right now so the you know how, how am i going to do that well you can go to lowe's and then you can also get a um do a temporary fix on this until you can get another one of those brass nuts or if you're if the threads are actually messed up on uh on the band clamp you can't do anything except replace the whole band clamp but uh this uh, you can get some stainless steel nuts and then you want to get the thread pattern uh this is a 5 16 nut so you can see it right there 5 16 by 24 uh, pattern as far as the 24 uh, threads per inch so 5 sixteenths by 24 and get some stainless steel nuts and then that will uh, that will be able to screw on here uh, you use the use those little washer pieces on here and just use the nut itself first before you do that then just make sure you clean up the threads get all the brass uh, pieces uh, off of it you know, there's a whole little section right there that's full of, of uh, the brass. Clean up those threads and, and make sure there's nothing in, in them. Uh, and then put some lube on there. And then you'll be able to use one of those stainless steel nuts to, to tighten that filter band. And there's part of it right there. This is basically those little thread uh, pieces. Uh, that some of the brass parts just stripped that stripped that nut completely out. So clean all that off first before you put on the stainless steel and lube it up. And there you have it. Uh, lubed that up. Got sprayed some WD-40 good on it. And then uh, tighten the band clamp uh, like I normally would with a rubber mallet hitting it around. And so that'll get you back up and running. Uh, that'll be a good fix for now. Uh, and like in my case here, the distributor, I can't get something for over a week. I can't, I can't, have, uh, I can't have the system not running for a week. So uh, we got to get it back up and running. This is, this is the middle of the summer right now. So uh, thanks. Hopefully it's helpful. We'll see you next time.